let's explore some patterns. Patterns can come in different forms. One form is a list of numbers. Number patterns are a list of numbers that follow a pattern. We could have an increasing pattern where the numbers are increasing by addition or multiplication or a decreasing pattern where the numbers are decreasing. They're getting smaller by subtraction or division. Let's take a look. We want to identify each pattern and find the seventh pattern and find the seventh term in the pattern. So the first one we have from 3 to 14 that's going up by 1. 14 to 16 is going up by 2. 16 to 19 is going up by 3. So that was the first, the second, the third, the fourth term. That means the fifth term would be going up by 4. That would be 23. The sixth term would be going up by 5. That would be 28. And then the seventh term would be going up by 6. That would be 34. So the seventh term is 34. And since all of the numbers were going up, that's known as an increasing pattern. This second one, the numbers are going down. That's a decreasing pattern. So in the first to the second term, it went down 7, minus 7. And then from 80 to 73, it went down another 7. And from 73 to 66, down another 7. So since those were the first, second, third, and fourth term, the fifth term would be down another 7. That would give us 59. And then down another 7 would give us 52. And then down another 7 would give us 45. So that means the seventh term is 45. Patterns can also come in tables. Tables follow rules that get from the first column to the second column. Let's take a look. We want to find the rule for each table and then find the missing values. In the first table, to get from 36 to 12, and from 30 to 10, and from 24 to 8, we want to see what we could do to each number to get the other number. Well, 36 to 12, I can divide by 3, and that would also get 30 to 10 and 24 to 8. So then to figure out 18, I just do 18 divided by 3, and I get 6. For my second table, I want to get 4 to 12, 6 to 18, 8 to 24, well these are times 3. So to figure out 10, I just need to multiply it by 3. And 10 times 3 is 30. So that must be the missing number. Patterns also come in pictures. There's two types of picture patterns. Here's an example of a repeating pattern. We have a circle with a dot on the right, then up, then left. If we repeat that pattern, circle with a dot on the right, then up, then left, right, then up, then left, our pattern repeats those first three terms over and over again. A growing pattern grows by a certain number. So for example, if we start with the square and then take that same square but add one square on the top and one square on the right. Then we take that term and we add not the two but three on the diagonal. And then we take that term and not add the three but add the four on the diagonal. We notice that the pattern is that we keep adding a diagonal to it. And the diagonal has the same number of blocks as terms it is. So term 3 adds 3 to the diagonal. Term 4 adds 4 to the diagonal. Term 5 adds 5 to the diagonal. Let's look at these picture patterns. If you notice, the first pattern has these four shapes repeating. Repeats over here, and then it starts to repeat again. So we have an L, 
a backwards L, and then next comes the upside down L. So that upside down L is our next shape. That was a repeating pattern. The next one is a growing pattern. It's just growing and growing. So if we notice, the first term has the center square, and then it has one square on each of the corners. The second term has that center square, and then it has two squares on each of the corners. Third term has that same middle square, and then three squares on each of the corners. And the fourth one has four squares on each of the corners. So if I'm looking for the fifth term, then I need that middle square, and I'm going to have five squares on each of the corners. And there we have it. That would be our fifth term. And that is all you need to know about patterns.